Right, bud, welcome back to another video where we are outside today with my two dumbbells filming a dumbbell only upper body workout. Hopefully the sun doesn't get too annoying. If you like these sort of videos, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and all of that stuff if you are new. We're gonna get set up. I'll see you in a second. Right then, brother, what we're gonna to do to start off this is a bit of a pull. So it's bent over, dumbbell, rows into shrugs. Quite a straightforward one. 15 reps of each superset. So we'll do both exercises back to back. Rest for 30 seconds. Do it again, gonna do that three times. Let's do it. Righty, welcome back to the voiceover. It's me from the future. Couple of things really to keep in mind with these, as I will say at the end of this clip. Bent over, barbell row. You wanna just try and keep a neutral back. Drive the elbows back behind you and try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. The heavier the weight, the harder this is, obviously. And on the way down, just try and stretch as I'm doing there. Stretch the lats out. A really tight grip on the dumbbells. I'm gonna try and uh, grow those forearms as well. Into a shrug. Nice and slowly, all you need to do here, neutral neck position, don't strain that neck, but squeeze it up and hold it at the top and slowly back down. You don't want to jolt your, uh, your neck muscles there because you're doing something. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe. Let's get back to actual time. Me. Okay, set number one down, quite straightforward. About a six out of 10, probably. That felt good. The bent over rows, I personally find a little bit harder than the shrugs. I think my shoulders are quite strong. I know that I can shrug more than I can row. But hey, with little rest in between, so no more than 30 seconds by the time I've finished this little bit, we're going to go straight away again. Get a little bit of water if you need. We'll get the blood pumping into the, uh, into the back, into the forearms, into the biceps, into the traps. Let's go again. Okay, round number two done. One more set. So as hopefully I've been saying in the voiceover of this, editing me, get it in. Um, wanna try and squeeze the shoulder blades together in that bent over row. Typically the more you bend over, the more you're gonna feel it in the lower back, which is kind of what we want. A little bit of stress in the lower back, obviously as you squeeze up, Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Try and get your elbows behind your back. That's going to do the upper back for you. Really pull that in. Obviously, that's your biceps. It's pulling that in as well. Grip on really tight. And that's your forearms. Shrugs are quite straightforward. It's just nice and smooth. Slow. Don't jolt anything up and down. Just nicely up and nicely down. Super straightforward. Right. Last rotation. And then we'll get some water and get onto a little bit of push instead of pull. Let's go. Okay, that's that round of three over. Let's get my water. So actually, my shoulders do ache a little bit. Didn't think they would, but it's probably the higher reps, higher than I'm used to. Get a drink. Mm. We're gonna be on the floor. Oh my God, that sun is right in my eyeballs. We're gonna be on the floor for the next one. It's gonna be a bit of a press motion instead. 
it shall uh, be the opposite of what we've just done there. So a little bit of rest, probably a minute at the most between these ones, just to get a little bit of your breath back. So you've got all the energy ready for this next superset again. Let's set you up and we're gonna go again. Uh, just for reference, by the way, I've got five kilograms on each side uh, of my dumbbells here. So I think the little bar is about two. So it's probably 12 kilograms per hand, um, which is more than enough for this sort of high intensity, low rest sort of workout, just to get the blood pumping, the muscles and body aching. Good enough for a half an hour workout, mate, and we are on to a winner. Anyway, my arm's gonna fall off. Let me put you up. Right then, lads, this next one is a chest press, standard chest press, arms in a neutral position, straight out into a dumbbell skull crusher. Hopefully, I don't drop it on my brain. There's not a lot in there though, so let's see what happens. 15 of each again. Let's go. Okay, dokie, chest press. First off with your chest press here, so it's a neutral uh, position for your elbows. Don't feel like you need to flare your elbows all the way up. So your sort of shoulders are pinching. Just find a nice neutral 45 degree position there and rip these out all the way up to the top and then slowly back down into skull crushers. So I've almost died just there. I thought, you know, I'm going to try and try and do uh, try and do skull crushers there with a dumbbell in each hand, almost kill myself. So just like I've done, you can regress the exercise halfway through here. And I decide, you know what, two dumbbells, far too hard. Throw one to the side, just use the one dumbbell and slowly control that back to your head. Squeeze it back again. If your elbows hurt in this, as again, I'm gonna say uh, in, in the intermission between this one and the next set of exercises, just squeeze your elbows in. So if you feel like your elbows hurt, squeeze your elbows inwards try and make them elbows touch each other you can't do that but just try and that'll stop your elbows aching 15 reps of these anyway back to at the time me oh so first things first I think I'm laying in a bastard ant's nest. So that was nice, crawling into my armpit halfway through there. Secondly, I recognise that skull crusher was a little bit too heavy with them both. My elbows just couldn't push it back. So we do a regression, which as you saw, we'll throw one away. We'll just use one dumbbell, which makes sense because you're isolating that long head triceps so you're going to be able to just do less instead of using a chest push as well so uh, that's what we did there 15 of those felt fine nice and controlled 30 seconds rest just about now we're gonna do it again three sets of these 15 reps each let's go again getting more and more it's getting more and more difficult which is good getting the blood pumping into the arms if you find by the way a little bit of a tip skull crushers hurt your elbows probably because you're flaring your arms outwards and your elbow joint doesn't like that one okay so just try and squeeze your elbows inwards a little bit and that that should Take a little bit of that niggle away from right inside that elbow joint. Some people just aren't made to do skull crushes or equally, you can lighten the load as well. Right, one more little breather. We're gonna do another rotation. We'll see how we're feeling. Feel good so far. Let's get it in. Right, this next one before we cool down. Biceps again, hammer curls, 
should be able to hammer curl. The strict curl is a no chance on these. Hammer curl though into a, a walk, farmer's carry I guess, just holding them and going up and down. If you're doing this in your living room, a little bit of space, you just need like five to 10 paces or just hold it and do it on the spot and bring your knees to your chest. Right, 15 reps on each hand and we're just gonna walk 15 paces to 30 paces. Let's see how it feels. Let's give it a go. Okie dokie, hammer curl super set with our farmer's walk here. Super straightforward with this one. You wanna grip the dumbbell as tight as you can and curl it up into your opposing chest. Super straightforward. So you can typically do a heavier weight with that than you can do other uh, types of curls, but there you go, in a standard walk up and down the yard. Easy peasy. Oh, tell you what, forearms, forearms are burning after that one. So that first one, the hammer curl is obviously very good. It's quite a heavier weight. So you still need to control it. Just curling that weight up and in close to your body means it's gonna be a bit easier for you as opposed to away from your body. That's quite hard for the biceps. Keeping it nice and close in. Still lots of stress on the bicep there. 15 in each hand, so counting 30 altogether if you can count that high. And then walking, if I had to guess, 45 seconds probably. Walking backwards and forwards for a little, a little while. If you've not got a lot of space, if you're doing this inside or wherever, just knees up, knees up to your chest. Again, just to get your heart rate going. It's good for core stability, but my forearms are in the bin after that first one, just gripping onto those dumbbells so tight. So a couple of good benefits there for that. We're gonna do it two more times again. We'll see how we feel. Might even take my top off. I think we're going to get a late night suntan. Probably won't. Scare the golfers away. All right, let's carry on. work on the hands. I don't know if you can see my hands, probably not. I had dimples all over them. Like Aquaman's body. Oh, right. A little bit of a breather. How'd you feel about those biceps? Mine feeling I've got some good blood, blood, pardon? I've got some good blood pumping in there. Easy for me to say. Right. A little bit more. One more of these and I think we're gonna finish just with a couple of ab exercises to round the thing off and a nice walk back. I've gotta take everything back to the, oh my God, it's good as long. One more of these and then we're onto some abs. Don't go anywhere. Good. Right. It smells like gas around here. Anyway, that's those. Cool, I'm struggling to hold my tripod. And that is not a euphemism. I'm holding my tripod. <sighs> How'd you feel after those? Good? Should have a good amount of blood pumping around your body. That's a couple of bicep, tricep, and shoulder exercises as well as a little bit of walking. Now let's just finish. I know you don't want to, but we're gonna finish with some abs, just for you. Holy moly, would you look at that view? Can you see that? I'm waiting for the train to come past and spoil my fun. Right, two exercises left. And then we'll have a nice evening walk just to warm down 
Right, what shall we get you to do? I know exactly what it is. It's going to involve being on the floor again, but also dumbbells one more time. Let's set you up. It's obliques and lower abs. Let's get going. Okay, for obliques, which is these side muscles here, serratus muscles on the side of your trunk, you only need, not that trunk, you only need one of these weights. Okay, slowly down. Okay, then the last exercise to finish off our dumbbell upper body set here. So single dumbbell, and you're just gonna wanna roll it up and down the side of your body. Keep your, uh, keep your spine straight, quite a straight forward one. Stand up, neutral position, and, uh, and just roll that dumbbell up and down your leg. And then your leg raises, nice and simple to finish off. Okay, how does that feel? Those leg raises are obviously quite straightforward. You might feel them in your hip flexor. Just bury your bum into the ground if you can and try and use your abs to squeeze your legs up as opposed to kicking your legs up. Use those abs to pull the legs up. And obliques, the side, all the way down the side from the side of the ribs, the serratus muscles in there, all the way down to the side of the V taper. That's what's going to squeeze that weight up the side of your body. Good just to shape the, the all round physique whether you can see your abs or not. It's a good muscle for stabilization. We're gonna do that two more times, of course, before we get into a walk. Let's do it again, shall we? Right, one more time, and we can start the cool down. There's not really much to it, it's just breathing. Oh. Obviously it goes without saying, help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this sort of thing, let me know. If you want to see something else, let me know. What a lovely evening. We've been beaten by another ant, that's good, right. That means we've got to carry on again. Last time. And here we are the next day in the shed because my outro um, did work. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all of that. And I'll see you in a bit.